Hey guys, it's Chris here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at file zero and one of the most frequently encountered errors, which is the fail to retrieve directory listing and also the 20 second timeout. Today in this video, we're actually going to cover the fix for this that will allow you to start transferring your files and uploading them to your server. Now, this actual error is based around the FTP encryption. So, it's not really a big deal, and this is a really quick, simple, easy fix that almost anyone can do. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight in, and we're going to get it done. So, if you haven't already done so, obviously the reason you'd be looking at this video is because you're experiencing a problem uh, with FileZilla itself with the uploads. But just to make sure that you have the correct software, make sure you have downloaded the FileZilla client, not the FileZilla server. The FileZilla client is much more reliable, much easier to use, and there's a hell of a lot less problems with it. There are some people out there that are going to disagree with me on this front, but each to their own. Personally, in my own opinion, I prefer the FileZilla client over the server, and we are going to be focusing on the fix today with the client, not with the server. And I don't think I will be making one for the FileZilla server because I haven't actually uh, found a way to fix this on there as of yet. So anyway, what we're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and we're going to download this one, then you're just going to go ahead and install it. Now I've already got it installed to save some time, so we'll just duck over to the one that I have, uh, wherever I put it. Uh, let's see, it is right here. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and for most people, you would look straight at the uh, the quick connect right here. Now I'm just going to go into this quick connect to show you that I am actually experiencing the same problem. So basically mine is for custom.confusedaustralia.com. That is my website. If you guys like, check it out. I'll be posting a link in the description. So as you can see, it's trying to retrieve the directory listing at the moment. But I can also tell you that this is more than likely going to fail. Uh, see, all right, there we go, right there. Failed to connect, and it's going to try it for a second time. It usually does this two or three times, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm actually just going to stop it and clear the history, and then we're going to go on to our fix. So we'll cancel current operation. All right, there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little part here, which is Open Site Manager. Now, this thing here is absolutely great. It is the easiest way to fix up this problem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in, we're going to click in New Site, and mine's called Custom.Confused Australia, so I'm just going to abbreviate it to CBCA. Now, you should have received uh, your information uh, for your website, your servers, your VPS, uh, whatever the case may be, your hosting services, uh, in an email once you pay for your subscription or if you sign up for a free service or whatever the case may be. I am actually using a, um, a web host server at the moment called Adixi uh, for my server. So uh, we'll just go ahead and I'm going to type in my URL. And there we go. And we're not going to bother putting anything in the port. Now we're going to leave the protocol as the FTP, which is the file transfer protocol. Now this is the part that messes most people up. Right here, the encryption. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch it down to only use plain FTP, which is, as it says, insecure, but it's actually pretty good. Now we're going to go down to uh, log on type and we're going to switch it to normal and then you're going to put in your hosting details. And then we're just going to click OK and then that would have saved that and then we're just going to go into that and we're going to click connect. And for this we're just going to establish a connection in a new tab. Alright, so, and there we have it, right there. It's quick, simple, easy. As you can see, there's my desktop right there on this side, and then on this side over here is the remote string for all of my files. 
So there we go. So that would happen to be it. Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching my video. I hope that this video was informative and uh, help you solve your error. If you have any more questions or if you have any comments, please post them below. Um, I'll be listing the uh, links and stuff that I use in this video. If you like this one, hit like, subscribe to my channel. That'd be good. <laughs> Whatever works for you guys, all right? Well, thanks again for watching. This is Chris, and uh, I'm out.